the special triangle circle. All right, so this is just a quick tip video on how to draw out this special triangle circle from memory without having to look at anything. So the three things we need to remember are basically those three main angles uh, that we see in the special triangle circle, right? And that's gonna be 30, 60, and 45. So we've already seen that we can draw these out in radians. So we have our first 30 degree angle. We remember this is pi over six. Then we have our second one, pi over four, and our third one, pi over three. Now, if you're having trouble remembering these as well, I just think pi over six, well, this is gonna be equal to 30 degrees because I know that these are kind of opposite. Rather than going from six to 60, it goes from six to 30. Then I remember that pi over four is 45 because of the four. And then I think again, okay, we're swapping. So pi over three, that's the 60 degree one. I also could just think pi over three is greater than pi over six, so it must be 60. All right, so once you have these three uh, memorized, it's pretty easy to build from there because this whole circle can be divided up into bits of pi over six, pi over three, pi over four. It's all um, perfectly dividable. So let's say that we were asked to plot five pi over six. Well, the first thing I see is that our denominator is over six, right? So essentially what we need to do is we just need to divide this top half here because pi is greater than five pi over six. We just need to divide it into six sections. And then we're gonna pick the fifth one and there we go, we've plotted five pi over six. So we have our first one and our second one and uh, drawn out here. And it's nice because this graph is kind of divided into these sections, right? So we have one, two, this would be our third at pi over two. Then we have our fourth. Okay, so if you, and sometimes it's also easier to just think of this as three pi over six. And then we have four pi over six. and then we have five pi over six. And so all we're really doing is we're just counting. And we can worry about simplifying this later, right? So, okay, sure, this is two pi over three, and this one here is pi over two, but for, the, for our own sake, it's all the same, and it's much easier to count if we're just adding it up like that. So we just divide it based on the denominator. So there we have it. We've found five pi over six. Now we can erase all these lines we drew to help things get a little less cluttered. Now we can do the same thing uh, with pi over four. So say that we wanted to plot three pi over four. Well, this time we're gonna divide into chunks of four, right? So we're gonna divide this top half into chunks of four. So we already have pi over four written on the right quadrant. Again, we're gonna go one pi over four over, which is 45 degrees. So then we end up here and we go 45 over again for the third time and there we have it, three pi over four. So using this method, we can really just continue going around the circle. For example, if we wanted to continue going from five pi over six, we have here, the pi is the same as six pi over six. Then we go another two uh, squares or 30 degrees. Then we have seven pi over six and so on, right? So um, just by kind of continuing around the circle and adding these as we go around and not simplifying until we absolutely have to. Because it's just a lot easier to just count up on our numerator and uh, only keep things simplified if, we, if we're done, essentially. So as we can see here, as we finish up, just dividing the circle into these um, pi over six, essentially segments. 11 pi over six, and we get to two pi, which is 12 pi over six. So you can do that with any uh, of these angles that you wish. I hope that helps kind of clarify things and make it easier to draw this circle. I know it kind of looks intense, but if we break it down into its parts, it's a lot easier to manage. All right, so that's all for this one. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Bye now.